Hello, everyone. I am Yuta Akiyama. This time, I will introduce the IP adapter Face ID, which can be used in stable diffusion. By using this feature, you can fix the face of the input image like this and make it possible to generate various styles of images. By using this, you can generate images similar to your favorite person or character and change them to various situations. I think that reference only, which can be used to fix the face and character, is often used, but sometimes it is affected by other parts other than the face. So if you want to generate images with more consistency, I think it is a tool to use. In the IP adapter I introduced earlier, it was a content to enter as an image prompt to generate the clothes you want to generate or to support the hairstyle, but the feature I will introduce this time is specialized for the face. Especially for those who want to make a photo book using AI influencers, it will be a very useful feature, so please refer to it. Let's take a look at the features. Let's take a look at how to download the IP adapter Face ID. First, go to the Hugging Face page of the IP adapter Face ID. This is also in the summary section, so if you are interested, please check it out. If you look at the introduction here, you can see that you can generate images of various situations from one picture like this. It's a little difficult to understand because it's so detailed, but if you go down, you can input a picture of Taylor Swift like this to generate images of various situations. Let's take a look at how to download it. First, click on Files and Versions. There are a lot of things written here, but this time I will download the IP adapter Face ID plus V2. This is where SD 1.5 and SDXL are divided but please divide it by the base model of the model checkpoint you are using. I basically use 1.5, so I will choose SD15. As a way to check this base model, you can see it on the Swift AI or the model page. In the case of Swift AI, you can see that SD1.5 is used in this base model. This time, I want to generate images using Epic Realism, so I am choosing 1.5. Then, I will download a combination of this bin file and save tensource file. First, let's take a look at how to download this bin file. Click Extensions in the Stable Diffusion Web UI, click ControlNet, and upload to the models in it. The V2 and normal versions are already in it. If it's not in it, click Save. Next, I will download the Rolla file. Click Models on the Stable Diffusion page. From there, find the Rolla folder and upload it here. This is already in V2 and normal versions. It's at the same angle as the other Rolla. This is the face ID of the IP adapter, but you need to install ControlNet. If you haven't installed ControlNet, click Extensions, click Available, and click Load From. From this, you will be able to find ControlNet Web UI and install it. In addition, you will need to install the module called Insight Face to use the IP adapter Face ID. This is quite difficult to install unless you know how to program. So this time I will download the ST Web UI Reactor and install the module called Insight Face automatically. To install this, just paste the reactor URL in the Install from URL section. I have explained the extension feature of this reactor in a previous video, so please check it out. Once the reactor is installed, a tab called Reactor will appear here. Now, let's take a look at the face ID of the IP adapter. This time, I am going to type in this prompt and generate an image.
This prompt is an image of a Japanese man in a jersey. First, I will generate an image. This image is not using control net. Yes, this image was generated. Next, I would like to use control net. First, click enable and click pixel perfect. After that, select the IP adapter. This is the preprocessor, but this time select Face ID Plus. The one I installed earlier is the Plus version, so I am selecting Plus this time. Next, select Plus for this model as well. This time I will select Plus V2. If you select a normal model instead of selecting Plus here, you cannot generate an image, so please make sure to match this phrase. Next, I will input the image of the face I want to generate to this multiple input. This time, I uploaded the image like this. I think everyone has seen this free material. Now that the settings are complete, I would like to generate an image. I will set it to batch count 5 and generate 5 images. Yes, the image was generated like this. It's a bit similar, isn't it? To make it more realistic, I will upload the Rolla I installed earlier. This time, I will select V2 because it is the plus V2 version. Please make sure to match this Rolla with this model. This time I chose model plus V2, so I also selected V2 for this Rolla. I will set the weight here to 0.7. By adjusting this weight, you can control how much you want the face to be. Then I would like to generate again with this prompt. And it's pretty fast, isn't it? Yes, the image was generated like this. Now I would like to compare the original image with the generated image. Here is the original image. This is amazing, isn't it? It's the eyebrows, eyes, and other parts of the face, but it extracts the features and generates the image pretty well. This is really amazing. It's very accurate. This time, I generated a gym girl, but I would like to generate a different image with a different prompt. This time, let's use in the dancing club. I will use a party dress instead of a jersey from dancing club. Yes, this is generated. It was a little different from the club I imagined, but I think the face itself is quite similar. How about generating various situations based on the original image like this? How is this video? If you use the function of this IP adapter face ID, you can fix your favorite face and generate various images. It's a very high precision and consistent image generation tool, so it's a very important tool for those who want to collect fans by using an AI influencer taking photos, and posting them on Instagram. Depending on how you use it, you can generate images like deepfake, so it's a little dangerous tool, so be careful how to use it. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. See you in the next video. Goodbye.